Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Sephra Korea and hit the bell icon for regular notification. Hello, welcome back to Sephra Korea's channel. I'm her mother Madeline here. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, uh, fresh bangra mackerel pickle. Okay, and these are the ingredients. I have bought one kg fresh bangras and cut it into this size pieces. Okay, cleaned it, cut it. This is one kg. I have not put the heads. Okay, it's only the body and the tail part. I have marinated it because I wanted to save time. I marinated it with little turmeric and salt. Kept it for one and a half, two hours. You have to keep it because all the water should come out. And since it is a pickle, it has to be preserved. That's why we marinate for a long time. Now come to the ingredients. These are 25 chilies. Half a Kashmiri which I put, I have kept this to show you and half are called the Badgi. So uh, all together I put uh, 15 this and 10 this or anything, 12, 12 like that you can put. I have soaked this also for one and a half hour because to make this red chili soft. I have to grind all this. For one kg uh, mackerel, I have, I need three cups of vinegar. I have put two cups already in this to soak. Okay. And one cup I will use while grinding because I have to wash the grinding stone also or the mixy with the vinegar. No using water whatsoever because this pickle can be, pickle can be stored for six months outside the fridge. Okay. Okay. This. Now. Ginger. But some of that I have made into small pieces. Here one and a half garlic pods so half uh, garlic pod i have made into small cubes pieces and this is for grinding so these two things are for grinding this i will use while seasoning then 10 peppercorns with these few pieces of cinnamon and here one tablespoon of cumin seeds jeera and three fourth tablespoon of turmeric okay these two these two for seasoning and the rest for grinding. Now I am using the mixing. Put one teaspoon of sugar. Okay. And I will put while grinding one teaspoon of salt. While Get this uh, pan because I love to fry in this pan only. Pour plenty of oil and I'm using coconut oil. Okay, even if the oil remains in the pan, no harm. The pan is heated now. I can put. I have reduced the flame to medium. Okay, while frying because the fat content in the mackerel will hurt out. Do it slowly. I'll show you the texture. But now since I don't have time to dry this afterwards again in the sun, one day you have to dry it. So 
so that you assure all the water is in but I will fry it to such an extent that there is no water remaining in it. One by one, see how it has become. One by one, I'll take it out. The spurting has stopped. See that you don't touch any water or not even a drop of water has to fall in this. Let it become cold, I will show you the texture of the fried fish. If you have noticed now, the spurting sound has become less, that means the water content has reduced. Okay? Content. Yes, yeah, water content. See now. Take it out. Just see the texture. And actually I will hold the pieces in my hand to show how crispy they are. Take it out delicately. I think this one I'll try it little more. Yes, this is done. I want to show you the texture of the fried fish. You see. It's become so crispy. Understood? See ya. Okay. I've kept it to cool. Now meanwhile, I will prepare the seasoning of the masala. Now it is, I have heated the pan and it is seasoning of the pickle. Okay, I will use two cups of oil. You know why? Because it is to be preserved. And no harm to use coconut oil, two cups. Done. Now in Goan style of uh, making the pickle, they don't use uh, curry leaves, but I will want to use a few in the season. If the Goan way, you don't put. Then uh, chopped ginger garlic. Okay, let it. Okay. It has fried. Now we'll put this. Masala that I ground in vinegar. Reduce the flame to medium. I said you have to use three cups of vinegar. I have already used two while grinding. Now this some masala is left in this. I will use it to wipe off all this from here. You have noticed I have not wasted the masala that is stuck to the grinder. I have used the vinegar to wash off all that is the remaining vinegar. Done. And see that not a single drop of water falls into this masala. Keep stirring this till the masala cooks and uh, loses its raw flavor. Okay? And cook it on low flame. Low flame. Let it cook. You know this particular recipe is very cumbersome. But once you make it, you will enjoy eating it for 6 months. Because it has got long shelf life. For the ingredients that I use, there is no way water has been used. You see that this masala is cooked. Lovely. Now, I have to put the pieces. Some people uh, put the masala into the pieces, they don't boil. Now, I don't want to take a risk to have even slightest water in this. So, see, you see the crispy sound. Good. And I'll bring it to a, I'll cook it for 5 minutes. 
let it get cooked. See that the pieces are dipped into the this. I can raise the flame a little bit. Yeah. To medium. To medium low. Let it get cooked. See that you don't harshly stir it. Of course the pieces won't break, they are very crisp. See that the pieces it dip into that. And cook it for five minutes. No covering it. If you cover it, then it will steam and then finish. Even one drop of water is enough to spoil the pickle. Because this thing should not, masala should not stick to the bottom. Of course, it won't stick because there is quite some amount of oil in it. Let it cook for five minutes. Happy, my dear viewers. Huh? No, not at all. Okay, it has cooked for five to eight minutes past actually. Now I can put it there. Hmm? And keep it to cool before you are bottling it. And it has to cool for at least three hours. Okay, I put the flame off. Let it cook naturally, I mean cool naturally. You see the oil is so hot so still it is boiling. 